One of the most common questions that I hear is, can I be a foster parent if, and then the back half of the question winds up being a whole bunch of different things. And generally the answer is yes. Uh, many more people can uh, be foster parents than think they can be foster parents. And the most common reason why people are disqualified from foster care is that they, uh, uh, they don't ever ask that question. They, they never ask and so they never find out that oh actually they not only could they they would make great foster parents they they rule themselves out so if you've been thinking uh about it about foster care um and you haven't asked your question yet visit skookumkids.org slash foster care we'll shoot shoot straight with you and today i thought i would run through uh, a few of the scenarios um uh and and answer them can i be a foster parent if i am single Yes, some of the best foster parents that I know are single foster parents. For um, a kid, one healthy parent is better than no healthy parents. Uh, if, if you're not a parent yet and you're just a single person who wants to help, um, we'll teach you everything you need to know. We'll give you some safe, supervised ways to gain some experience. You'll take to it quick. Uh, can I be a foster parent if I travel a lot? Uh, again, yes, for folks with irregular schedules, snowbirds, or people who travel a lot for work, I might recommend starting with respite care. Respite is a particular kind of foster care that is caring for kids who are already placed in a traditional foster home um, for a few days while their foster parents have a, a, a break or do some travel. Um, respite is always scheduled in advance and it cannot last more than two weeks. Uh, average length is three days, it's a long weekend. So it, it's perfect for people who travel a lot. Can I be a foster parent if uh, my household has only working adults in it? Yes, uh, the state of Washington pays for childcare, um, both before and after school care and licensed daycare for foster homes where there are two working adults. Now, it can be challenging to locate an open daycare slot in Greater Bellingham, but we have a few tricks up our sleeve about that. So um, come get licensed and um, we can help you find a daycare slot when the time comes. Can I be a foster parent if I'm a lesbian or gay or bisexual or transgender? Uh, and the answer is yes. Um, your sexuality has nothing to do with your ability to care well for children. In fact, about 28% of the kids in foster care identify as LGBTQ. So come on, we need you in the game. Uh, these kids feel alone and isolated because of their life experiences. And if we're able to place them in a home with parents who have something in common with them, uh, that's a huge win for everybody. So uh, no, it doesn't disqualify you. In fact, it might make you especially qualified to care for some specific children. Can I be a foster parent if I am Spanish speaking? Yes, oh man. <laughs> Uh, there's a huge need for Spanish-speaking foster parents. We uh, are not, as you might imagine, given that this video is in English, uh, as well equipped to support Spanish-only households as we would like to be. Um, we do have two, maybe three in a pinch, bilingual staff members, so we can make it work, but we're growing in that direction for sure. Can I be a foster parent if I am retired? Uh, again, yes. Um, is some of the best foster parents that I know are, are grandma grandpa types, empty nesters. Uh, you've already raised kids. You've got empty bedrooms. You, you know how to do it. Uh, we need you, come on. Can I be a foster parent if my house is strangely configured? <laughs> um, so this one might take a little finagling, uh, but that's what our foster care specialists do. We find a way to make it work. If it is possible, we will figure out how. Uh, it might require that you change some things about the way your house is laid out. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but if you're willing to do it, uh, we can probably get you licensed. There's way too many specific scenarios to run through in this setting, but um, if you're in this camp, give us a call. We'll come have a look. And I repeat, we will shoot straight with you. Can I be a foster parent if I have a pool or live next to a lake? Uh, yes, outdoor bodies of water are hazards that we need to address during licensing. It might require installing a fence. 
uh, to make sure that kids are safe, safe when they're at your house, but this is not prohibitive. Can I be a foster parent if I smoke marijuana? Yes, marijuana is legal, both um, medicinally and recreationally in Washington State. And if you use it safely, meaning you are not impaired while you are caring for kids, then yes, you can be licensed. Can I be a foster parent if I have a criminal history? Maybe, depends on what that history is. There are a few automatic disqualifiers, uh, but fewer than you might think. If it happened a long time ago, if you regret it and would do uh, things differently now, if uh, it didn't involve violence or mistreatment of a child, and if you're willing to put in some extra work to prove that all of those things are true, uh, we can probably find a way forward. Again, there are lots of others exa of examples of, of this question. Um, and if you have your own that I didn't address specifically, skookumkids.org slash foster care to inquire. We'll sit down with you, hear your situation, and give you a straight answer.